Are you considering moving to Arizona? Maybe looking at Apache Junction? Well, today I'm gonna to give you a tour. You're gonna to see the community highlights, the recreation, shopping, and housing. Hi, this is Diana Benson with EXP Realty and The Great Escape, where we help people move to and around Arizona. So if that appeals to you, please remember to subscribe and like the video. You know, people call us every day um, who are moving to Arizona and we absolutely love it. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to text or call at 480-534-3789 or all my contact information is listed below but let's talk about Apache Junction, Arizona. It's one of the most scenic areas in Arizona as far as mountains go, truly a part of the Old West. It's located approximately 30 miles from downtown Phoenix, just east of Mesa. Now, one of the reasons people like living in Apache Junction is the larger lots, the views, and access to the outdoor activities. Apache Junction is located in both Maricopa and Pinal counties, with most of it in Pinal County. It's at the junction of Apache Trail and the Old West Highway, thus the name Apache Junction. When I think of Apache Junction, I think zoning, what zoning? You're gonna find an upgraded custom home next to a manufactured home, as you're gonna see while we're driving through, in fact, right up Idaho Road. Most of Apache Junction is in, has natural desert, so if you're looking for a lushy landscaped area, this is not for you. It's known for its mom and pop restaurants. Now we're gonna take a drive down Idaho Road. You're going to see mixture of trailer parks, 55 plus RV, mobile home parks, and single family homes and commercial development. This is the route to, to all the activities like the lakes and parks. So now while you see this area, let's talk about the facts. Population is 38,499. This size is 35 square miles. Unemployment rate is at 3.5%. The medium ho uh, home cost is $365,000 or about $255 a square foot. Cost of living is at 96% of the national average. Crime rate is rated as good with a low rate of crime. Over the last year, there has been a 28% appreciation rate. All right, when we get to the junction, we're going to take the Old West Highway out to the parks and activities. You're going to see the Superstition Mountains, the desert and washes, and now many of the snowbirds come to the area. Some of them visit the RV parks, the 55 plus manufactured home communities, just to enjoy the beautiful weather at affordable prices. They enjoy the activities in the area, like the rodeos, the tractor pulls. Um, there's places with live music, like the Hitching Post and the Legion Club, where you, you can enjoy the music, enjoy the outdoor seating with the gorgeous Superstition Mountain views in the background. It's packed every weekend. Now, recreation is also available at the Superstition Mountain Museum. It's a 15-acre parcel with the beautiful Superstition Mountains in the background. It has an old barn, the Elvis Chapel, um, the last surviving structures from the Apache Land movie, a gold mine, and a gift store. Then right down the road is Goldfield, where you're gonna find, have a feeling of the Old West. We're gonna take a walk through Goldfield Ghost Town in the summer in just a bit. You can have the rare opportunity to see what it's like without all the crowds. Now, typically, there's only a couple spaces left to park. The streets are packed with people. There are gunfights every hour on the street. There's hangings, there's a panning for gold. You can visit the reptile exhibit or test your shooting skills at the shooting gallery. There's live music at the saloon. It's just a great place to spend an afternoon. Now we're gonna see what Goldfield is like during the summer. No one is here. Now Goldfield was here in the 1890s. Some of the highlights are the main street, the shops, the a mine, museum, um, the narrow gauge train, gunfights, uh, Mammoth Steakhouse, the zip line, horseback riding, reptile, um, visit the panning for gold, the jeep rides, and don't forget the candy shop. Now just down the street, you're gonna find the Lost Dutchman Park. It's a 320 acre state park. It's named after the famous Lost Gold Mine legend. It has hiking, um, bike trails, and wilderness. It has camping spaces for campers with power and restrooms that have showers and what views. It has great trails, 
If you, now, if you keep going east, you're gonna find Tortilla Flats and Canyon Lake. Now, if we head back down towards the freeway, you're gonna find the Snake Hole Golf Course, which really shows the great humor of the local residents. Now, in the spring, you're gonna find the Renaissance Festival east of town. And if you keep going, you're gonna find the Arboretum. Now, what about schools? Well, the Apache Junction High School has just under 900 students. It's a beautiful facility, but it does rank in the lower half of the state's test scores. Well, how about housing? Well, the area has been known for the beautiful Superstition Mountains, for horse boarding on, in Arizona, and for being one of the most affordable areas. There are older homes on larger lots with horse privileges. There's manufactured homes, trailer parks, and new Spanish-style construction. It's a mixture of everything. Apache Junction, you're gonna find ranch style with composition shingle roofing homes on large lots, territorial homes with flat roofing, and Vegas and manufactured homes. We're gonna take a look at each of these. We're gonna look at some properties with horse privileges first. Now here is a 2168 square foot house built in 2021 with a three car garage. It's located on 1.5 acres and is listed for sale for 760,000. Now we're coming up on a 1560 square foot ranch style home built in 2001 on 1.2 acres with a three car garage, three bedrooms and two baths that sold recently for 550,000. And look at those beautiful views in the back. Now here's an example of a territorial style home. It's 1984 square feet built in 1998 with a four bedroom, two bath home with pool and oversized garage on 1.12 acres for 720,000 with beautiful views. But now let's look at a manufactured home. It's listed for 389,000. It was built in 1998 and is 1569 square feet with three bedrooms and two baths. It has been completely remodeled. It has great views and it even has a fenced rear yard for your dogs. Okay, so we looked at homes on large lots, which is what Patchy Junction is loved for. But what about tract homes? Well, here's an example of new construction a 1943 square foot home with a two car garage for 465,000. Now these are Spanish style homes with the stucco exteriors and the tile roofs. There's a common playground area for the kids and there's a $74.25 a month HOA dues. Now you can even um, go east of here out by Gold Canyon and find homes at Gold Canyon. But what about the 55 plus communities? Well, here's an example of a community that has both site-built homes and manufactured homes. And the neat thing about this community is that the, even the manufactured homes um, are stuccoed and in some cases with a tile roof. So sometimes it's really difficult to tell the difference from the outside. Now this is a gated community. Here you can find a 1,081 square foot manufactured home with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a two-car carport that recently sold for $260,000. The monthly HOA fee is $75. It includes a workout facility, pool, spa, and tennis court. Now that's affordable living in a great 55 plus gated community. You know, lately I've been getting a lot of questions about the water because the water is definitely a concern. I was surprised to find out that despite the population increase by 6 million people since 1957, we are still using the same amount of water as back then. The Arizona Groundwater Management Act of 1980 has really helped the water conservation. The state has also stored nearly 3 trillion gallons of water for future use, enough for 30 years according to the ADWR. Now it was significantly improved in the month of August. The state has been working on the Colorado contingency plan since 2014, including a pipeline. So solutions are already in place and on the horizon. I hope this video has given you an idea what it's like living in Apache Junction and how there's something for everyone. If you want more information on the area, please don't hesitate to call, text, or email. All my contact information is listed below. And please don't forget to subscribe. So until next time, this has been Diana Benson with The Great Escape, where we help people escape to their next chapter.